welcome back to my channel this is your jamaican girl shari i want to say a huge thank you to all my wonderful subscribers thank you for being a part of this family um for those who have not yet subscribed the family is still open we're taking on new members so of course you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button and of course you want to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the great content that we're posting over here so what do i want to talk to you about today so a lot of people have a lot of myth or myths about um emigrating or migrating to the states i for one had a lot that were passed down to me by people who were either overseas or people who knew someone that was overseas and that myth kind of like filled up my head and caused a whole lot of problem in my marriage because <laughs> i my husband wanted me to you know come here and I didn't want to move because of all the stuff that I heard um, that kind of like plagued on my mind. So tonight I want to talk to you guys about some of those myths. And I'm talking to you about that from my own experience. It's good to, you know, go and Google stuff. But I think experience teaches wisdom and is the best um, advice that you can get from, you know, from anywhere google is just general but for someone who can share their experience then you can harness that and use it for your own good all right so i've dropped down a few points that i want to talk to you about not a lot i'm not going to stay long i'm trying to make it um short and spicy so um before i came here one of my issues was i had progressed well um back home in jamaica and by here i mean in the states i'm in new york so before i migrated or emigrated emigrated here um i was doing well in jamaica i started a business i was the operations manager um and a business consultant and so many things were going through my mind like do i really want to leave all that i've worked so hard for to come here um and then when i started checking around with people who i knew here they were like oh yes when you come you're gonna have to do over your degree you're gonna have to get recertified it was like a whole bugger you know what I'm talking about, a whole bag of a, 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 a crab bottom that they were telling me. And it started to play on my subconscious. I, I didn't want to leave home because I just never wanted to start over again. But the beauty about it is that that's not true. If you, let's just say you have a degree from UE or any reputable or accredited university, that degree is still used here. A lot of companies no longer ask for you to get that degree certified. As long as you have the original certification or the original degree and you take it into the firm, they, you know, that's enough proof for them. And most of the universities in Jamaica and in the Caribbean are already accredited and they know about them. So for like example, UE and UTEC, NCU are accredited here. You would not need to get those degrees recertified, right? Um, I, of course, we know for lawyers and doctors, and that's a whole different case. But if you did your degree in like general management, history, um, you know, social work, you know, those fields that don't require recertification, then you're fine. Um, so that's one myth I want to rule out for those fields that don't require like um, recertification, like you know, lawyers wouldn't need you know recertification and have to sit exam and nurses and doctors and so on. But for the general field, like business um some science areas as well don't require recertification so let's get that out the door no a lot of people are like oh yeah school is cheaper overseas it's cheaper if you are from an underprivileged background so if you're from a poor background um then you know you you the government will subsidize the schooling but of course you don't want to migrate to a country and end up being on government aid or welfare right so for us who migrate it's not cheaper let's get that clear for example a master's program over here at a, a you know a, not even say a reputable reputable university just say an average university is running between 25 and thirty thousand dollars that's like crazy money back home you can do the math and then when we check it out back home you can get like your mba for you know maybe one one million something that's like ten thousand let's just say ten thousand us dollars and it's costing twenty five to thirty thousand here for the same degree so school is definitely not cheaper um unless you're from an underprivileged background as well they, they, they classify it and you will end up being on government aid or on welfare so let's get that out the year um some people say that job is jobs are hard to get um i, I do not agree with that 
I came here in May. It's about two years. I'm, I'm here two years now. Let's just say, yeah, I'm here two years now. And I came here in May and I got my first job. Um, I came here on a Saturday and I had my first job by the following week, the Wednesday. So like four days or so after I came here, I had a job. I started applying from the Saturday night and by the Monday I had interviews. I will not say jobs are hard to get. Jobs are here as long as you're here legally. It's hard, of course, if you're here illegal. But once you're here illegally, um, there's a lot of jobs that you can get. Maybe ones that you don't like, but ones that you can start off with until you get to where you want to go. So I will not agree with people who say, oh, job hard to get a friend. That's a complete shade. Some areas, of course, some places, um, jobs are hard to get. But for the most part, um, like New York and Florida, jobs are not hard to get. Um, and unless you're a picky person, you know, you have some people who pick you when you come on to job. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I'm very picky when it comes on to job. When I came here, I started out um, as a proposals manager with um, a company in Florida and then I was always already working with that company when I when I was in Jamaica they just you know um, shifted me here and then um, the Wednesday I got a job with um, Max Sold I was working as an auction assistant and then um, I got the job with the company I'm working with now is a proposals and contracts developer down in Manhattan um, and I got that job like a month after I came here so yeah, jobs are not really hard to get unless you're very picky. And I'm picky. And I still got got a job like immediately as I came here. Um, healthcare. People say healthcare here is cheap. Healthcare is not cheap. Let's make that very clear. Healthcare is not cheap unless you are on government aid or you know government or welfare, what they call welfare or EBT or whatever they want to call it. That's the only time healthcare is cheap. Um, let me share my experience with you. Um, when I came here, about five months after I came here, I have asthma. And so I had like a, a panic attack. I had to go to the hospital. They did a few tests. And best believe, I don't know, I see the bill with the people them saying, come give me. The bill was for $1,500 and something dollars. $1,500 and something dollars, yes. Thank God, my husband had his health insurance. Of course, the health insurance covered a portion of it, and I still had to pay like four hundred dollars out of my pocket. Um, for what? Nothing much other than you know being in the room, sitting down, and then giving milk oxygen. That's it. Healthcare is not cheap. It's 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 exceptional service. Don't get me wrong, but it's not cheap. So don't let people tell you, oh, go find man, go and find go 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 go. You know, go get tested or whatever, whatever. It's not cheap. If you have health insurance, then fine. But most people have health insurance through their workplace, so they have to pay it. For example, me, my family, our health insurance per fortnight is like two hundred and something dollars. That's for, that's just for health, not vision and not dental and whatever. It's like two hundred and something dollars per fortnight. So you're still paying for it. It's not cheap, right? So we clear health care, cost of living. I live here in New York, and um, most of my family who are here, they're also in New York. I, I don't think I have any other family member living anywhere else, but New York, cost of living is not cheap. Food is not cheap. Nothing here is really cheap to me. Because um, what I do, I do the math on like how much I would pay for something back home in Jamaica, just to compare, to really see if it's really cheap or, you know, or not. And it's not cheap. It's just that you are making more money so it will seem cheap like you know my husband will say oh it's just a dollar it's not just a dollar a dollar is like a hundred and thirty dollars back home why should i pay 130 dollar for a little piece of biscuit with four in there you get me i say like a dollar for, for, for a little biscuit for one little biscuit one duplex biscuit i not pay that so he will not understand he even not look to juice um a soda a soda for two dollars something. Why should I buy a cup of soda for two dollars something? That's almost three hundred dollars for one soda. That could I get me KFC or you know one of them look of KFC something with them have done there or chicken box or whatever. I'm just saying it's not cheap. It's just that you're making a certain amount of money, so it will look cheap, but it's not cheap. So the next time somebody tell us the cost of living is not cheap, best believe it's not cheap. Okay. Um rich a lot of people feel like when they are foreign you're rich yeah a lot of people feel like that and i think a lot of people here cause that to happen because what 
we go back home and we floss and we go on and we go on and we we in a much suit of clothes and and whatever my mother-in-law and i always have that this conversation when she usually come jamaica media jamaica she full up her suitcase of the best stuff and she come down and she go and go and go and go and go and and when I come here and I see, oh, she just dressed normal when she died, yeah. So, you know, so with the excitement, this family died, Jamaica. I saw foreign go on. When them they up here, them pop down. Best believe it. A lot of who you see, a muggle pound upon um, Facebook and whatever. When them they up here, them pop down. Yeah. Only Jamaica and them hometown, Guyana and Barbados and Trinidad, they can go. Because them take out them best fit. Some of them use out them credit card. A credit card they live off. I buy up all of these fancy things where you see them come down with and carry come back home and go on like say, Yeah, this is how no my husband and me always have this argument too because me I say, Yeah, come on, Jamaica, you dress up in a this and that and that and look at you in the same pants two day or the same shirt two day, like them so mark you <laughs> I saw me deal with him. <laughs> but it is I so I think that a lot of foreigners give people the perception that things are easy and that they're rich. They're not rich. It's a struggle and if they should really tell you the stories, you'd realize that it's a struggle. Some of them get less than five hours sleep because to make ends meet, they have to get away from me. Sorry. <laughs> to make ends meet, they have to um, be doing two and three jobs just to, you know, make things work for them. So if people could just be honest, you know, not overdo the thing. Yes, it's okay to look good and work hard to buy the nice things them. But tell the truth because when the bills them don't pay out of the little salary and the food don't buy and whatever. Every time I go to BJ's weekly, it costs me over 200 and dollar weekly. And by midweek, everything done. Just that look of food. You know, so for somebody like me who love Jamaica and love what I could get with my little money at Jamaica, me always a complain, me always a cost. So... We've dispelled a few myths, won't you say? So the myths that I touched on was the fact that people say that your degree from your country, you're going to have to get, get it recertified and blah, 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 all sorts of madness. You can't get a job over, yeah? You know, get a good job. Yeah, for good this and whatever. It's a complete farce. It's a lie. It's a myth. I have proven that. My sister is also here. She has proven that. Not no go so. You have your degree, you migrate in, come girl, can come a um, young man and come bold, big, bold and beautiful to take on this world. They are, there are so many opportunities here for people like you and me who are hard workers because Jamaica and make it easy for you. Most of the countries that we're coming from, you know, easy. We don't have the, the logs where them have here. So, so when we come here, we come here with the attitude to get to the top, right? We get into the top, I would die trying. That's how we see it, that's how we do it. All right, so we've dispelled that myth. We have also dispelled the myth that school is cheaper here. It's only cheaper if you come here and the pan government benefit and government go and help you out and welfare and these things. Once you come here and you're working hard like me, school don't cheap. Yeah, all right, we get that. Um, the job market people say, you know, it's hard to get job. I don't believe that some areas are naturally um, They don't hire that much in some areas, but for the most part, it's not hard to get jobs If you're if you're there illegally people who are there illegally I get job much less them where they are legal You're not for yourself. You can't pick choose and refuse sometimes you get a two and three job lineup It's just that you have to ensure that you are marketable, right? You come here you do the right things That's we're gonna leave some other other wrong things them for another time. But we said school, you know, we said that um School isn't cheaper. We said the job market is, is, you know, is one that is ready to ripe. Especially after COVID, it's going to be even more ripe. -er. Yeah. And we talk about the healthcare system. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. We saw in the news where one Jamaican, when they attacked her, she left and went home. And you're like, oh, why she never stay and get the healthcare? Healthcare is not cheap. And they're like a pain in your ass. Them saying a notice, notice, pant up a notice, pant up a notice. Them down in your skin like a mat, like them a call it everything in a one. Some of them take it and report you right so it's not cheap let's clear that here and cost of living it's not cheap either it's sky high so for those who are mislead people and look like we're rich and cost of living is absolutely nothing and stop tell people they lie them and stop when you must talk the truth that make people they must say life hard over yeah you know the cold you know the sun you know the, sometimes they're not the train station and when this when they eat box me watch me now oh you have to shake it off and i feel a fan and a pump yeah life is not easy but let me tell you something far in there for you all away migrate come here with the right attitude and you can get to the top until next time this is your jamaican girl Oshari. live good walk good be good stay good and do everything good take care